welcome students in my new tutorial this tutorial i have specially designed for it skill students covering the topic consolidating data based upon open office calc so this topic has been covered by cbsc so now i'll be covering this topic firstly what do you understand by consolidating data data consolidation allows you to gather together your data from separate worksheets into a master worksheet what it means it allows you to gather the data from different parts of the worksheet or i can say it can be from the same worksheet also so i'll cover both the examples from same worksheet also and from different worksheets also into a master worksheet that means it can add it can count the data it can uh, find the average of the data okay now continuing with the definition in other words the data consolidation function takes data from a series of worksheets or workbooks and summarizes it into a single worksheet that you can update easily so now practically i'll be explaining this how it's possible yes so just to save the time i have already typed this data so you can pause my video and you can also use either the same data or you can type whatever you feel like whatever amount of marks you want to add so simply you can just uh, type uh, any data any names and then you can copy paste like this what i have done little bit changes you can do with the marks here i'll do the changes like 94 80 like this just to show certain difference okay so now for consolidation i want to insert new sheet so what i'll do here right click insert sheet and after this then this dialog box comes in front i'll just select after print sheet okay so this is my new sheet you could see here sheet 7 and now in this uh, where four terms are written so just see this name and percentage these are your column labels because this is column a this is column b so these are your column labels and here triple a triple b triple c triple d and triple e these are your row labels because from row labels only you can see which student is getting marks like triple a is getting 90 marks uh, whichever student is getting how much marks so we can differentiate by these labels only so now the process we will start directly i am going to sheet 7 here i want to consolidate the data simply i'll go to data and from here consolidate and this dialog box comes in front so because i was using consolidation earlier so this that's why it is showing me some ranges i'll delete this i'll just select all and delete now from the top different functions are there just now i'll show you the function of sum now after sum is been selected i want to select the range for selecting the range i have to click here shrink because my data is present in four terms here so firstly i'll select this one shrink i'll go to four terms and then i'll select my first range now this is the first range of my data which is to be added so you could see here it has taken and uh, after this i'll click on add button okay and now after this i have to select the second range again i click on shrink now this range again add then third range 
again add then fourth range you could see here in the fourth range one of the student is missing so not a problem consolidate will take care for that also because one of the student has not appeared in term 4 that is triple c but then it will add the marks from all three terms so i'll click on add this also so after adding now i have to select where i have to paste the data copy results so like sheet 7 i can just click here shrink and then from suppose it's okay or from here i i want i want from here a2 now one thing more here very important i'll click on more you could see here row labels column labels and link just now earlier i have explained you about the row lab row labels so it will copy that row labels also and column labels also and link to source data that also is very important i'll just show you the advantage when we click on this link so i'll click on ok here and after clicking on ok you could see here the data is in front of you and now now just see it has added the data like triple a 90 92 94 92 again so it has added the data okay the same way a triple c the triple c was missing in four terms so only the three term marks is been added so i hope uh, it is clear to you i can like i can write here final marks of the students and i can click on merge cells firstly suppose uh, i want to add consolidate data based upon some other criteria now the same concept but taking another criteria now you will see here already the data has been selected only what we have to do the cell where i have to copy the results so i can just select here or maybe this side this will be okay and then after this i'll select now another count now although labels are name and uh, percentage it will come the same so that i can change here can write here attempted papers now it can tell very clearly that triple c has only attempted three terms okay the same way again another criteria data consolidate and from here now i can click on average it will work same as percentage and now copy results to okay this one is okay uh, a55 and then i'll click on okay and you will get the percentage okay now but this percentage is a collection of all three terms you could see here here somewhere triple is getting 90 92 94 92 so but here in consolidation 92 82.5 like this so this uh, consolidation feature is very easy very beneficial i hope this is very much clear to you now taking the second scenario now here in this example i am taking different worksheets so here also i will insert one sheet this i will be doing a little faster now here because everything i have explained earlier so here only i am trying to explain that this can also be done here but here little bit uh, changes or new concept i want to teach you that we can even give the name to a range earlier i have not talked after selecting the data i have to give the name like i'll give the name as uh, profit one okay 
and I'll press control key. Then I'll go to sheet two. Again, I'll select the data. Then profit two. Sheet three. Profit three. And here you can find here that profit one if I select this is being selected profit two twenty and if I select profit three twenty one. So now in sheet four I am doing the consolidation. Again the process is same so I'll use one criteria only. Uh, I'll select consolidate and here I'll use max. And here, this data I'll delete. And now I'll from here. This was the change source data range. I'll select profit one, add profit two, add and profit three, add. Now, this process is same. Earlier I was clicking here and then selecting the data, but now when I've given the name of a range, it will make the thing easier. Add and then copy results to this process. You already know that I can just directly click here or maybe here so that I can give the name to a label on the top and then more. This you all know and okay. So now it's working here also. The maximum profit from sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. So this I have done a little faster because the concept has been already clear in my first part of this tutorial. So I hope you are very much clear how to use consolidation. So dear students, now I am taking you back in my previous example. So one concept was left. I told you whenever we are doing consolidation, in consolidation, one option was there. Link to source data. Now, what is the advantage? Because this topic was left, so I'll tell you what is the advantage. Suppose now, when I told you how to add the sum of all the marks, suppose this was the marks of triple A, 368, 330 of triple B. Here also, I'll just change the heading total marks. So just see, I am clicking on four term, and here of triple A marks, I am making two hundred ten marks difference. Now, if you check this sheet seven, you will see here it's changed. It's three seventy eight. Just for a reference, I'll write here three seventy eight. Now again, I'll make the change here. Here I am making. Two ninety, and now you see it's three seventy six. That means everything is been changing automatically, and this is possible only due to this option link to source data. That means everything is automated. So I hope all the concepts are very much clear to you. And besides this, if you see here, plus sign is here. If I click it here, so it will show you that how this marks is been added. You could see here this plus sign. So again, you can click on minus. So only totals or consolidated data you will see. So I'm closing my tutorial here only. If you have any doubts. You are always welcome to share your doubts as a comment. Okay, bye bye.